standing in front of the former European Court of Human Rights building with the Palais de l'Europe behind you. Designed by architects Bertrand Monet, Pierre April and Françoise Papilla, it was awarded the French label Patrimoine du XXe siècle, which recognises the built heritage of the 20th century. Inaugurated in 1965, it used to house the European Commission and Court of Human Rights until the new Human Rights Building was constructed in 1995. The Council of Europe rents the building, which belongs to the city of Strasbourg. This concrete edifice, built in the modern architectural style, was inspired by the De Stijl and Bauhaus movements. Its square structure emphasises its horizontal lines. Notice the cellular pattern formed by the fine concrete lines of the outer window bays, jutting out from the façade. Reminiscent of Le Corbusier style, they protect the upper floors from direct sunlight. The ground floor appears to be set back under these box-like structures. The building opens onto an inner patio. It now houses the Directorate of Information Technology and the Directorate of Internal Oversight, as well as the Council of Europe's Administrative Tribunal. As you enter the building, cross the hall and take the stairs to the first floor. Open the door and enter the room where the former European Commission of Human Rights once met. Today, this is where the staff committee holds its plenary meetings. Now continue to the hearing room. The European Court of Human Rights sat here until it moved to its new premises in 1995. As you leave, look down at the inner courtyard and its Zen garden. If you wish, you can go on to discover the other council buildings in the European district. <laughs>